Hi, this is Jaya. Now we shall see the summary of The Sheriff's Kitchen written by Ronald Gow. This Sheriff's Kitchen is actually a one act play and it's a very interesting play. And uh, Ronald Gow also is a very famous English dramatist. Now all of us know about Robin Hood. He is a person who will rob from the rich and help the poor. And uh, this Robin Hood was actually hunted, you can say. Like everyone wanted to catch him and they wanted to arrest him. And it was uh, the sheriff of Nottingham who was trying very hard to catch him. But each and every time Robin Hood will escape because he had many people to help him to escape from these people who were trying to save the law. Now the story begins in the sheriff's kitchen that is the sheriff of Nottingham's kitchen. The steward is entering into the kitchen and actually this steward is 3 hours late for the dinner time. And he is very angry and is asking the cook for food but the cook says no I will not give you food. Because I have prepared the food only for the master and I have to serve him. And only after the master eats, if any food is remaining, I can give up, uh, give you some food. And he says, I am waiting for the sheriff and sheriff is not come so far. And uh, the sheriff is also late by 3 hours. Now the cook is saying uh, no and uh, the steward is asking for food and they both are quarreling. And the steward cleverly says that he will give uh, the cook two large jugs of ale and uh, the cook agrees to it he says okay fine you give me the ale and i'll also give you some food at that time what happens is that is they both go to get the uh, ale at that time into the kitchen little john he is also an outlaw so, outlaw means a, pe a person who does some small small thefts and all that and friar tuck they both come into the uh, sheriff's kitchen and they search for the food and uh, here sheriff he is successful in catching robin hood and he ties him up and he comes with some of the guards there and uh, robin hood's hands uh, are tied at the back uh, so that he does not escape and the sheriff puts him in a cell and uh, after a long uh, trial so many trials he has caught the uh, caught uh, robin hood so he wanted to be very careful and there he comes and uh, seeing uh, the sheriff, the steward comes out and he tells the steward to be very careful and take care of uh, Robin Hood. And little John sees this and uh, see they are, Robin Hood has many followers and many people who admire him because he helps the poor. So little John wanted to help Robin Hood to escape. So what he does is, He steals from the sentry his dress that is he steals a steel cap, leather coat uh, and uh, his halberd and everything and he goes and stands like a sentry. Sentry is uh, one of the guards uh, and uh, what happens is slowly he removes off the keys from the steward and using that keys he goes and releases Robin Hood. And the sheriff now goes and changes into his night gown and night cap and he comes. And little John goes at the back of him and he slowly goes and catches him off tight. And Robin Hood threatens him. He takes a knife and he places it in the throat of the sheriff and they threaten him. And both of them go and lock the sheriff inside the cell and they escape. And sheriff is now inside the cell where Robin Hood has to be. Thus Robin Hood escapes from there. And the sheriff who wanted to capture Robin Hood is actually inside the cell where Robin Hood is there. And this uh, one act play ends here. It's a very simple but a very beautiful uh, play written by Ronald Gow. I hope you liked the video. Like it. Share it with your friends. And if you are not subscribed my channel, please subscribe. Thank you.